Hi guys, if you like to buy a Fisker, or your Fisker is on your way to you, or you just received your Fisker, then this video is super important to you because I give you all tips and tricks what you need to know driving a Fisker and get the maximum cool experience out of it. I'm Patrick, I will be your host for today and welcome to Gentleman's World. There's a tiny little thing which sometimes frustration the people, yeah? Also myself was quite frustrated after I recognized, yeah, how it works, yeah? So, this key fob here. Opening the car requires that you go to the car, you wait a little bit because the car is on sleep and then it needs to wake up like your PC and then easily, when you close to the car, it opens and everything is fine. You can't go just jump to the car or from far away, click on and it's open, that will be not working at least when the car is still, you know, like alive or not alive, it's the wrong wording. It's still, you know, like awake. And of course it will work. But if you're coming in the morning to the car, go close by, push the button off a few seconds and then everything works smooth. The next tip I like to give you is when you go into the car, yeah, um, you have here a lot of plastic surfaces, yeah. Be careful, especially also when you're having kids while going into the car because you can easily scratch that, yeah. Um, by the way, if somebody knows a cover, that would be really cool if you could give me some information, yeah. The same, by the way, is also applicable for the back here, yeah. As you can see in the back, also here, it's easy to scratch, yeah. It's cool that you can lift stuff in, for example, yeah, or take it out. But anyhow, um, it's getting scratched. So if there is a foil which you can cover on top of it, that would be brilliant. And guys, for those who are following already longer my channel, they know it. But anyhow, there's a promise to you. If I hit the 1000 subscribers, I hit the boost button for you guys. I make a video of it, yeah. I will use it the first time and make a video out of it and publish with you. So don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And if you are a Fisker Ocean owner and you like to share tips, you're more than welcome to do that in the comment field. The next tip what I'm having from you guys is when you have kids or passenger in the back, they maybe like to be choky with you, yeah? And choky, I mean, if they like to make, make a fun with you, yeah? Here you have this little touch screen where you can also make the seat heating on, yeah? But you can also control the sound system, yeah? And I had passengers with me, especially also kids, which made jokes about, yeah, and said like, wow, I pushed this hard up, you know, like, and we had a super sound inside the car, but it's annoying and you can block that, by the way, as the driver in the front, um, screen that's not an issue but I would recommend take care about that because otherwise your kids may be just playing around with it sometimes there's still some software bugs which you need to be aware of and before you are screaming or you don't know what to do or you get really like relentless angry about yeah do it like with your mobile do it like with your PC if something not working switch down the car you know like bring it to a sleep and how you're doing this, I like to show you. At the moment, as you can see, for example, the cameras are here, not there. So what we're going to do, we reset the screen. This is the inside. And later, I like to show you how you put the total car into a deep sleep. Yeah. So what you need to do is you take your thumbs, you tick the inner buttons, push them for a while. Then you see that it will be going to understand. OK, I'm going into a um, reset now and it will be going down. Here you go. Now he is resetting the car. You see the tiny screen is going up immediately. The bigger screen takes a little bit more time, which is of course usual. There are a lot of things running in the back. And if your problem is resolved, everything is fine. If you have another problem, for example, that the Regan breaks or something like that, maybe fall out once, yeah, which can be happened, happened to me as well. Then we put the car into a deep sleep. And how you're going to do the deep sleep is I'm going to show you directly after the car now woke up inside. It's awake now, yeah? And as you can see, the camera has been missing and now they are here again. And the functionality and everything is there. It still works. So, you know, like so easy is it 
to solve a problem. Yeah, it should not happen, but again, it's a startup and there can be problems happen. I think it's very important that you can help yourself before you call Fisco or you get angry because it's just a few minutes, you know, like reset and the problem is solved. As we have seen already on the reset inside, everything works now. But anyhow, I like to show you how you put the car into a deep sleep. Therefore, it's very important that you not open the car by pushing the button for remote control. Yeah, you put it on the handlebar. Yeah, till the car reacts like that. And then you open the hood. Come a little bit closer. Yeah, you can see now here that the light is flashing or is still available and on. And now it's very important that you're going to close the car again just putting it on the handlebars and then you need to wait till this light here is switched off and the car is in a total sleep mode that is very useful if you have a bigger issue which you couldn't solve by um, resetting the screen inside yeah because then the total system will be going down and everything will be fine, yeah? I never used to do this in my entire time with the Fisker now. I have it nearly for four months, yeah? Uh, but I think it's worth showing you guys how to doing it in the unlikely event something happened. Coming to the next very, very important tip. It's all about the aircon climatic control. A lot of people came to me and said, Patrick, there is something with the air conditioning, is something with the heat system in an Fisker. And I said like, um, guys, that's not 100% correct. Yeah, A, you have a heat pump installed into an EV. And as you are starting to drive with an EV, especially in this very cold environmental conditions as we're having it right now, it will be sucking in shortly a little bit like of cool air and while you're driving it will be um, heating up and then everything is fine yeah the next thing what people maybe sometimes not understand is when you push any single button i show you that yeah for example i make now up the um, fence the air vents it takes out the auto control and this easily happened because a button like that you can easily push and then the car is not really automatically managed and this can lead also for example that the heat is not coming in as you prefer it or um, you have kind of an issue that the fog is not going out automatically because you maybe push one of these buttons so really look forward that you put in the settings right for the climatic control there's another very important tip and something you need to get aware of yeah so we have three driving modes within the Fisker. First is Earth, second is Fun, third is Hyper. So what is the differentiation with it? Yeah, Earth is everything about energy efficiency. Yeah, and this also leads that the air condition is not as strong as it would be in the Fun mode. Something else you have also in the Earth mode is that it's just giving energy to the front wheels so it means when you accelerate yeah for example also in harsh conditions especially now with winter or say with leaves on the ground or maybe it's humid that your front wheels not getting the grip immediately because there's not a push from the back wheels so earth mode is really something i would recommend when you are driving on a highway or you're just floating around somewhere and you don't need any extra power or traction on the track. Also, when the car is already heated up, then everything is fine and you like to save energy. Me personally prefers always, and I'm switching now into the fun mode because as I said, in the fun mode, you get more power to the, um, to the ground. You get like the dual motor quick jumping in you get more traction the climatic controls are much better it's smoother to drive the car because it's a little bit more balanced out and it feels much more yeah, i can say aggressive the downside with it, downside with it is that it used roughly about yeah nearly up to 20 percent more energy as you would use in the earth mode so the range you can get with your car the mileage is going significant down this is something you need to be aware of 
And if you're a little bit like a ludicrous or something like that and you like to have fun, then of course you need to use the hyper mode, yeah, then you get even more power, yeah, it's quicker, it's like a super sport wagon, I need to say. Um, but I'm not using it so often. I recommend you guys to take it in the fun mode. The display by itself is very reachable, yeah. I would also recommend that you set up a profile, yeah. So everything is really in a region where you can touch it easily. You can see here, for example, it's quite easy to get into the navigation system, yeah. You see also your music stuff. I had somebody asking, can you tell me what apps at the moment are available? You can see here it's Bluetooth, also I use for example, MSM Music with it, yeah. Spotify, you have the radio and you have Tune In Radio. Also, everything which is according to your telephone stuff is very good there. You see here the mileage you can take, you see um, how much you can control when you electrifying the car, when you charge it, everything here. And as I said, the climatic stuff, air conditioning and here you can go a little bit deeper me personally as you can see i'm always put off the um fi pilot yeah it's a little bit annoying because it's consistently beeping when you're going over 100 kilometer here for example it would yell on you um, 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 all the time which i don't like because i like to have to control about my own um driving yeah and secondly also um i have to say it's not fiscal's fault here yeah it is due to the fact that we are yeah how can i say um it's due to the fact that we are regulated from the eu that it peeps yeah what i also put out is yeah maybe you wonder why there is no um lane assist yeah i put the lane assist out because it's for me also kind of annoying irritating as long i don't have an automatic driving mode not inside yeah also that the car is on um cruise control and the car is consistently like trying to steer different yeah but as you can see normally everything works smooth everything is fine that's very good so there is a, a very 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 important thing i like to tell you due to the fact that most evs have a regen braking also which assist the normal braking there can be sometimes the issue being held or come up when you're driving on a say not so good road that the sensors think okay i need not to regen braking so what does it mean it could be you try to brake and like we had at the moment that the the regen says oh I, I i switch off and the car makes a jump and in this unlikely spend which is very 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 seldom keep on braking don't be shocked or something like that keep on braking it could be that your passengers feels a little bit like oh what's happened with this guy can't he drive yeah because it push really quickly forward but keep on braking it is very very important that you keep that in mind very important is also that you note down the number of your service technician which is de designated to your area because these guys are really awesome and help you in any unlikely event you also pick your car up and bring it then to a dealership or to a garage where they fix your car so everything is fine here guys i hope most of the things you don't need because everything is walking very smooth when you're getting your fisker and you will enjoy the car i need to say it's a very good quality car everything is really cool i think these tips are just very important for you that you're not panicking if something goes wrong or maybe something is not as functional as you expect it to be and um it helps you just to stay calm and having a plan and say okay cool i make the resets or whatever follow the guidelines guys it was really a pleasure to have you here thank you so much for all your support you're the greatest community also for everybody having a fisker putting already his um forks into the comment fields giving tips as i said if somebody knows how i can cover this plastic parts please let me know i'm happy to test them i'm happy to bring that on my channel and say this is cool stuff that's something i can recommend to buy or put in stuff like that i'm really thankful for otherwise enjoy another video of mine and we see each other next time have a great evening have a great day cheers bye bye